This is All India Radio Shimon, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. In Assam, nearly 60,000 people are reeling under the fury of floods at five districts. Two persons lost their lives in Dhimaji and Golaghat districts yesterday. Sivsagar and Golaghat are among the worst hit districts. Nearly 10,000 people are taking shelter in 35 relief camps in these two districts. Road movement was disrupted in many places due to floods. Different agencies have rescued 2,500 people at Golaghat district. Meanwhile, Water Resource Minister Kesha Mahanta and Agriculture Minister Atul Bora visited flood-affected areas in Golaghat district and met people at the relief camps. Later, both the ministers held a review meeting. Mahanta told the district administration to step up relief and rehabilitation measures. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has approved the proposal for opening of 13 new Kendra Vidalas in seven states to impart quality education. The states are Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Manipur, Bihar, Jharkhand, Telangana and Karnataka. The Cabinet also approved the establishment of an additional Jawahar Navodaya Vidalay at a lot in Ratlam district of Madhya Pradesh. Briefing reporters up after the cabinet meeting in New Delhi yesterday, Electronics and IT Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad said Ratlam district of Madhya Pradesh has the high percentage of scheduled caste and scheduled type population and there is a huge demand for establishing an additional Jawahar Navodaya Vidalay in that district. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma has stressed on the need to encourage and promote creative talent in the state. Speaking at the Symphony of Thanks concert organized by the Department of Arts and Culture for the Aroha Junior Choir in Shillong yesterday, the Chief Minister said there was no dearth of musical talent in the state and urged one and all to support it. Expressing appreciation to Aroha Junior Choir that won accolades at an international competition recently the Chief Minister also encouraged the musically gifted young generation to consider music as a viable career option. He added that the city-based Aroha Junior Choir won in the International A Cappella Group category at the Langolan Estee Ford Musical Festival held in Wales, UK recently. At least 20 families were rendered homeless and 35 shops were reduced to ashes when the fire broke out in Rowing Township in Lower Dibang Valley District of Arunachal Pradesh. However, no casualty has been reported. The fire was spotted at Middle Market Line and five fire tenders fought for several hours to douse the flame. Altogether, 51 members of 11 such families were given shelter at the Government Circuit House and Anchal Samiti Hall at Rowing and food and relief materials have been provided to them. Immediate monetary relief as relief has been provided to all the families by the administration as per norms. Chief Minister Pema Khandu expressed grief and concern over the fire incident. Normal life has been badly affected in Manipur yesterday following the 24-hour statewide general strike. The general strike was called by the Joint Committee of United Committee Manipur, All Manipur United Clubs Organization and Committee of Civil Societies Kangle Park. The Joint Committee is demanding not to negotiate any move to affect the territorial integrity of Manipur in bringing about a final solution of the ongoing peace talks between the Centre and the National Socialist Council of Nagaland, Isak Nivea. In the state capital, Infal, Interstate and Interdistrict Vehicular Services remained off the road due to the general strike. Niti Ayog Vice Chairman Rajiv Kumar yesterday held a meeting with Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma and senior officials of the state government in Shillong to discuss about different developmental programs of the state government. Rajiv Kumar, while speaking to media persons after the meeting, said Niti Ayog and Meghalaya government will work as partners to develop a blueprint for the development of the state. He also said that he is very impressed with the programs of the Meghalaya government, be it agriculture, tourism or infrastructure. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.